Hi guys, welcome back to the Yorkshire Modeler. Another issue of Battleship Bismarck. This week we are on issue 35. So with issue 35, we get the next keel section, the attack, the kind of connector for it, and another stand as well. So we're going to be able to stop stacking this thing on DVDs like I have been doing. Um, we are also using the two sprues that were left over from last week to attach uh, some more parts onto the superstructure that we've got up to now. So I'll put you back at the table and we'll get started. So I've got the um, keel section ready and the connector. I'm going to do this a little bit back to front, I think. So I'll do the quick part first, which is um, the connector. Then we'll do the, um, sorry, we'll do the stand first. Then we'll do the keel and then we'll go on to the plant on bits because it's all nice and quick, everything else on here. So in the instructions, pages one, two, th pages two, three, four, and five are the, um, the, glue on bits so um, what I'll do this bit we attach these two and again these have got front and back written on them so you know which way around you're putting them so that's in there so that's that done we'll just connect this on here like this so you do get your normal five screws with this one Pop these here. So the next keel section just gets screwed on like this. So same as before, I'm not tightening them up all the way just yet. So just till it slips in. Nope, so now so there's not that bit of wobble on there, I'm just gonna tighten these screws up. Side nice and tight. Make sure I've not cross threaded this one. Right, a second. That's in and whoopsie, attached. Now, while I've got the hull here, one thing I will show you is someone on one of the Facebook groups has um, noticed that some of the paint is starting to come off on his, which I've had the same thing happen on mine just here. So there's a little bit gone there and a little bit there. It's only on that one panel, so far as I can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and find out exactly what colour that is and then I'm going to repaint that bit. So I'll just mask everything off and just kind of airbrush that on. Um, bit annoyed considering how much money we're spending on this, but yeah, it's um, it's a small price to pay. So that will then fit in there like that, which will take it up to pretty much where we're at at the moment with holding everything together. So let me get the um, plant on bits and everything I need for that and then I'll be back with you. Right then, so we've got everything here that we need for the uh, plant on parts. So, instructions say place the forward superstructure, that's this bit, uh, on your worktop. You will need the two plastic frames supplied with the previous issues, that's these two. Uh, frame uh, 34 7 has four identical parts L, so that's 
that one. Hang on, let me just change the exposure on this. There we go. That's a little bit better. So, that's the four parts L there. And frame 34.8 has two parts M, four parts M2, and one part M3. So they're all on that one there. So, for, uh, fit first two parts L from the frame on each side of the lower mass deck as shown. Fix in place with a little glue. So, let me get a couple of these off. This is why these plastic side cutters are brilliant. Again, I bought all the tools I use, um, I bought from a little shop in uh, in Whitby Town Centre called uh, Boises. I know there's one in, uh, obviously in Whitby, there's one in Scarborough, uh, there's one in, um, uh, I think there's one in Barnsley now, um, and I know there's one in Lincoln because that's where my mum and dad live. So, now these two parts, L, go into these two holes, one there and one there. So kind of straight opposite these two hatches. So, get me Timmy a glue out. Glue on there, glue on there, and then Oh, that's one in and then just do the same thing on the other side so that's that one in as well uh, fix the remaining two part L's on the forward corners of the bridge deck and glue in place so that's in uh, the two holes next to the um, watch houses, so one there, so it's just one there, Ooh, just there, and then same place on the other side as well. So, sorry, just had to pause the video there because I had a massive sneeze and I didn't want to deafen you if you're watching this video watching headphones, wearing headphones. Sorry. So, it's that time of year and uh, living in England is not the best at this time of year and especially not living by the coast in England, but what are you going to do, eh? Lovely in the summer, horrible in the winter. So if I can get that in there, there we go. So now these ones, it's a little bit of a tighter fit for these on the bridge deck. So just take your time with them. Now, someone did put a comment on one of the earlier videos. Um, I think it was um, a chap or lady called Gariola um, who said that they think it's annoying that you get certain parts that you can't use until really late on down the build. Um, why can't they just supply things? And instead of going doing that and then going back and doing it, we could just do each part as we get it. So we would have got all these parts and already attached all these and then done bits and bobs as we go on. Um, which I do agree with. I do think that's a good idea. Um, just trying to get things to sit in properly. Like, you know, build it as you go rather than having two sprues left for each issue. Last week took forever. Um, you know, that was a very, very, very long build. Um, right, so cut the first storage box M1. Um, from the frame, check the fit on the starboard side of the lower mast deck near part L. Make sure the box does not cover the hole on the deck circled. So, we'll cut both of these off actually. Now what we're looking at here then, 
is uh, so it's this side that we're looking at so these boxes fit into these two holes one there and one there and it's that hole there that it can't cover so if I just push that into place like that and you can see there it's actually nowhere near there's a good four or five millimeters of gap there so we'll just do the same with this one now with this part I'm not just going to put the glue on the tabs I'm going to put a little bit along the actual plastic itself so the tabs will sit inside the kit inside the deck and hold it on but then you've also got a little bit supporting on the um, actual bottom of the part as well so hopefully that should stay in place there stay in place you little bugger there we go and then it's exactly the same thing on the other side as well Cut the second and fit in place on the other side of the lower mast deck near the open the oval opening. Make sure you have the box the right way round. Um, in the photo, the pegs on the base are located on the left as indicated by the arrow. So, so it should be that way around then. Uh, make sure you have the box the right way around in this photo the pegs on the base are located on the left as indicated by the arrow so this one see if i can just take it off you can see how the pegs are slightly further to one side than the other so the side that's smaller like the close the pegs are closer to that's the side that you put on the kit so i'm just going to put a dab of glue inside there as well just to hopefully hold it on a little better. There we go. So that's that storage box on as well. Next, the uh, four storage units M2 are fitted in pairs behind the large opening. So... Uh, make sure they are vertically aligned and going in place. So... These four hatches, um, are they hatches? Storage units go into the four holes. Two just there and two just there. Okay. So we'll just cut all these off. If I can get the snippers in there. So same as before, because these are really, really tiny parts, hold on to them while you're clipping them. Even though, you know, they're, they're not the tiniest things we've done, that, that we've uh, clipped off. I'd still hold on to them just to make sure that you're getting a, you know, a good, um, a good grip and you're not going to have them flying off at every angle known to man. There we go. So. Right, let's get down to eye level. Just trying to glue these in to make them sit upright as well, make sure they're not knocking anything. Okay. There we go. Might do with this one actually is put a bit on either side. So I don't know if I've told you what this model glue actually does that's different to super glue. What Timia and Ravel and all these other model glues do is they slightly melt the plastic. So, 
get in there go on so that when you um, glue them in because the plastic's slightly slightly melted it um, it fuses with the other plastic on the other side Ah, that's what's done this. Um, so yeah, it slightly melts the plastic on on both parts, and then once they're fused together, it's basically then one piece of plastic. There we go. So let's... okay. What I might do for these actually is use some super glue because I don't think it's going to hold as well as I want it to. Now we do need some super glue anyway because we're going to be attaching some photo etch um, from a really, really previous issue coming up. So um, let's take these two parts out. I'll take that one out as well because that's not quite glued yet. So, So there we go, that's in. There we go. So yeah, just using uh, a little bit of super glue just on these ones. I think it's because the, the parts are so small here. Um, and it looks like the gaps on the actual um, deck itself is really, really wide. Um, so it's kind of like model glue needs, at the very least, a, a reasonably good fit to hold it in. So we'll just do the same with these other two. Um, storage lockers. And then that, um, when we were doing those two parts on the sides, so that one there, this round, that one just there, just there and there. Um, it said make sure that that container didn't block the other hole. Well, I think I know why. Because the next part, which is um, M3, has to go into that hole. So obviously you didn't want it being blocked by a box. There we go. So... Bit of glue on there, and then we'll just pop this in. No, don't go. There we go. Right, so that's fitted into there. So that's in nice and snug. Uh, so that's just part uh, glue part three in place uh, onto. Uh, next to the box M1 on the lower mass deck, which is all done. So, that's all the uh, sprue parts finished with. So, move all the glue and chuck the sprues away. So, next, we need a screwdriver. And um, we're going to assemble the superstructure elements. So, that's this part and also the um, radar control centre. So, take the control centre assembly and check the fit in the uh, recess on the lower mass deck as shown, done that already. Uh, when fitting the control centre, take care not to damage any of the parts that are already in place. Press down gently on the assembly so that it fits snugly with no gaps. This is a very, this is a very tight push fit. So slide the cable into the superstructure then. So that's coming out the bottom. And if we line that up to where it should be, holding this up off the table, because I don't want to break anything. 
and then just push fit that in. Crikey, that is tight. There we go. So that's the radar attached. Then we need the superstructure that we've done up to now. So this massively large part. And then these cables will all get threaded through this hole here. So that's that. Nice and simple. Then we line that all up. Make sure those cables are coming down properly. Yep. And there's one cable that's stuck. So just making sure I've just got one of the cables wrapped around the peg to attach it. So that's that's sorted, that's fine. Right. So that's that done. Place the superstructure deck on your worktop, fit the bridge deck assembly so that all the cables run down into the large recess of the superstructure, which is what we've just done. So all the cables are coming out of the bottom here. Carefully turn the assembly over, taking, uh, taking care not to damage any parts. Uh, fix the superstructure decks together using four two by five millimeter PB screws supplied with the previous issue. So I've got those out of my box here. So I'll just swing this over. And where do I need to attach this? So it's those two holes, one there and one there. And then I'm guessing it's the two holes. Yeah, the two holes just on the other side of the opening as well. So there's my thumbs in the way. So there's one there and there's one there. So, but so that's, that is one thing that does annoy me is get all your plant on parts done when they're really 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 delicate and then screw everything together i just don't think that makes sense you know putting everything trying to have to put pressure on things to get it all to sit and then you've got parts that you could damage like on the um On the, uh, the uh, four deck when we were building that and uh, one of the plastic pieces that I had literally just attached the, the week before super glue had all set and everything was fine and then because um, we were screwing on I forget what we were screwing on now um, but we had to turn the deck over and I think it might be we were attaching the um, cannon um, the, the forward gun sorry um, and that was just breaking the part, so I had to glue it back on. And because the peg had come off, I had to super glue it back on, like just as a straight fit. And it just it didn't didn't look good. Didn't look good at all. But that's all glued to get uh, screwed together now. So a couple of weeks ago, when we got those photo etch brass parts, and there was the two ones left over, those two there, we need to attach those two now. So what I'll do. I'll glue those on and then I'll show you what they look like. So that's the two bits of photo etch done. So one goes just there. So that's got three prongs on the bottom which fit into the side and then the other end fits just into a hole just off to the side there. And then on this side it's exactly the same. Only this side it's the one with the, um, the two prongs that fits there and it just sits exactly the same. But yeah, that is now the superstructure starting to come together. And everything finished for issue 35. Right, guys, so that's the end of issue 35 of the Bismarck. Next week, we get um, another motor and a label. And that's a motor and cable label for the four-top radar installation, which will go behind what we've done um, with this one here. So I'm assuming that it will go in the hole that's just there. So um, what I'm going to do, I am going to put up a few photos of um, how far we are up to now with the Bismarck, um, with the new stand that we got this week, the next keel section. I'm going to just put everything together on the table I've got over here and just take a few pictures of it so you can see kind of where we're at, what it looks like, because um, we are ploughing through the build now. Um, uh, issue 40 will be... Um, a hundred with a hundred issues left so we're just just under two years now we'll have this finished just over two years sorry we'll have this finished um i do want to ask uh, an opinion from you um we all know what's happened with the aston martin i was going to do a, a build series for it and obviously it's it's been um, 
it's been binned now by Eagle Moss. Um, I'm guessing because they had problems getting the parts, because uh, they've run it before, so they shouldn't have had a problem with, with running it. Um, I have received some more parts for it. Um, I've got uh, parts three, four, five, and six, um, and the magazine that goes with it all. I did say in that video that I wouldn't use Eagle Moss again, that I wouldn't do uh, any, have anything to do with them, but what I'm thinking is it's a bit of a waste of having those parts if they ever do relaunch it. I might as well just keep the parts I've got and then do the build. Um, but we'll see on that one. We'll see what happens. Um, but what I do want to know is I want to put another build on the channel and I want your guys' uh, opinions and suggestions on what I should do. I still want it to be like a part work so I can put up a video every week and there's a set start and end to the parts that we get. Um, I have been looking a lot on the Model Space website lately. Um, so I've been looking at Sovereign of the Seas. I've been looking at the Soleil Royal. Um, I've been looking at the E-Type Jag, um, the X-Wing. There's a few different things on there that I wouldn't mind doing. Um, but I want your guys' opinion. I want to know what you think I should build next uh, on the channel. So pop it in the comments down below whether you think it's Model Space, Hachette. I might do Eagle Moss. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, pop, pop it in the comments down below what you would like to see me build next. Um, those different models that I've just come out with are just a suggestion. They're just the ones I've been looking at. Um, so yeah, um, just any comments, anything, any models that you can think of, any part works that you'd like me to pick up on uh, to do, just let me know uh, in the comments down below. Uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler um, for, well, weekly videos of uh, general model building geekiness. Um, with at least the Bismarck, which is going to be for the next two years, like I say, and then hopefully we're going to be getting some more builds on the channel soon enough as well. Um, I'm thinking about moving the Bismarck videos now to a Saturday. I did that last week, and this one's going to be going up on a Saturday as well, and I just I just think it works better for people. But again, pop your opinions down below. Um, I'll try and go back to a Thursday. Um, if people prefer it on a Thursday uh, Thursday morning at 8 o'clock, I'll try and keep it on a Thursday. But again, pop your opinions down in the comment section down below. Uh, I'll put up some pictures uh, in a second for how far we are through the Bismarck. But until next week, happy bottling, guys.